Hey, I'm Brandon, joined here by my buddy John Travolta, and today we are checking out the Bellstaff Ivy 2.0 jacket. Now, this has a bullhide leather main construction. The entire jacket is bullhide, which is a bit rare, and this is certainly a bit more on the premium side of the spectrum. It has an incredibly nice hand to it. It is very, very comfortable. The fit is a bit unique, and that's actually the one of the one of the things I wanted to start off with here. So I've got Pat, 220 pounds, six feet tall, with a 44-inch chest. He is currently wearing the 3 XL. He does not normally wear a 3XL, and this is actually the top of the food chain within their sizing line. So if you're a little bit bigger than Pat, unfortunately you're a, a bit out of luck for this particular jacket. But I will say it is fitting true to size. So get your measurements, reference a chart, and you should be spot on, should be all set. And because this has that premium bullhide cowhide leather main construction, this is something that's going to break in very nicely with regular use and time. As you ride in this jacket, it's going to become more form fitting, it's going to distress very very nicely um, and this is certainly something that's built to last quite a long time but I do have to note the elephant in the room here it's sixteen hundred and fifty dollars that is a bit steep for my personal preference you know is it too expensive for you out there that is certainly up to you to decide it is definitely premium it is very much a style oriented premium level brand um, from Bell Staff and this is something that is going to you know, be very timeless. It's gonna last for years, so it's certainly something you can wear for a very, very long amount of time, but 1650 is certainly steep. I've seen other brands within the market uh, give us some similar features and similar styling, you know, at about half the price. So it really just depends on what you're looking for and what style you're looking to get out of your jacket. But let's talk about some of the details here. So as you can see towards the top, we've got a little bit of suede on the inside there. We've got that two snap closure. So you can actually wear this, you know, this is an asymmetrical zip, sorry, Pat, I'm just going to do that. But uh, you can see how it looks closed up. Personally, we like kind of that grease lightning swag here with my uh, John Travolta buddy here. Go ahead and snap that back. But so you've got different ways that you can actually wear this jacket. I love the overall styling. Kind of makes me think of something like the Roland Sands Class jacket, which I personally own and absolutely love. It's in that realm, but this definitely feels a bit more premium. The, just the overall hand is pretty impressive. And it's unfortunately not something you can really feel and experience until you get your hands on the jacket but uh, just trust us, Pat uh, loves this jacket and wants to take it home, but it's going to stay with us, I think. We'll see. But as we work our way down the shoulder, you've got D3 armor. It's the LP1 armor at the shoulder as well as the elbow. You can see this accent stitching right here with the ribbing. I really like that style. It's kind of a throwback, but again, something that's incredibly timeless, but gives it that vintage vibe. As we work our way down the elbow, you can get some of that. Uh, you'll see you'll get some of that additional stitching right there at the back of the elbow in addition to that D3 there as well. And a big zipper pull right there at the bottom of the wrist so you can get those over your gloves if you need to do so. Pat, you can go ahead and lower that down for us. Two hand warmer pockets and then we've got this button flap right there. That's just to help prevent this from uh, scratching up your tank when you're climbing aboard your motorcycle. Pat, go ahead and face that direction for me, sir. Strike that right position. Now, normally I like to see a gusset or some type of stretch in here. Because it is leather, I think you can get away with it a little bit more because as you wear it, it's going to stretch out. It's going to move very well with the body. But certainly something I always like to see in this particular area. Won't knock them too much because that bull hide is going to break in nicely for you. As we continue working our way down the side of the jacket, you can see you've got some adjustability here with this little belt. You're going to get that on the left and the right so you can pull in that excess material if you need to do so. Pat, go ahead and face the back for me, sir. Now, normally at this particular price point, I like to see one large panel of leather. It's a little bit more uh, cost effective to split this and utilize the bull hide, um, you know, splitting that and marrying those two pieces. But at this price point, I fully expected to see one large panel on the back, but won't knock them too hard. But at 1650 bucks, you know, I'm going to critique them a little bit on that one. No armor in the back. There is a pocket on the inside, so you can throw that in there if you wish to do so. Again, at this particular price point, I think the armor should have been included for my personal preference there. And as we work our way down towards the bottom, slight drop seat there, again, with some more of that accent stitching that we see here on the shoulders as well as the back of the elbow. Pat, go ahead and face the front for me, sir. Let's take a quick look here on the inside. Keep calling him Pat, even though he is John Travolta from Grease Lightning. On the inside, very straightforward. This is a very comfortable interior. It's a cotton and what is it? Viscose? Viscose, I believe. Viscose. Thanks, Pat. Viscose interior liner. Look at this guy helping me out. Um, it's very comfortable. We've seen it with a few other brands, but again, it has a really nice hand to it. It almost feels like a, a silky material, really, on the inside. Napoleon pocket on the left for some additional storage. No belt loops, um, no short connection zipper, anything like that on the inside. I think we could have used some belt 
belt loops. Again, at $1,650, bucks, i am going to keep driving that home, but I think there's a, a few things missing at this particular price point from my personal taste here. Overall, from a stylistic standpoint, Pat, you can go ahead and zip that up. I think the overall style is spot on. I think the hand of the leather is absolutely spot on, but you know, is it worth $1,650? I'm gonna leave that one up to you guys. But if you have any additional questions, of course you can always reach out. You can click that info button. That's gonna take you over to the product page. You can take a closer look at this in detail. And again, you can always reach out to our customer service team. They are more than happy to get you pointed in the right direction. Give them a call, shoot them an email, live chat them. They'll get you squared away. Thanks for hanging out with Pat and I and taking a closer look at the Bellstaff IV 2.0 jacket. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.